In this video, we will continue with parametric differentiation. You will find this on page 503 in the Namibia AES level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. A curve has parametric equation X is equal to 1 plus tan theta and Y is equal to sec theta. Find an expression for dy over dx in terms of theta. Okay, now you have to go in this uh, video back or in this chapter back. Now I wrote there page 475, but I think I'm going to rather write in the reprint um, page 488 because you do it with the question, but the summary, the one that you can memorize, stands on page 488 and I'll show you now. Okay, so can I, yes, I'm going to show you now. So on page 4, oh here, I already wrote it here. Okay, here's page 488. So basically you can see that sec, uh, there is sec, do you see that? So basically, and you can go to page, then you can see how we derive that, but it's a sec x or sec theta will be sec theta tan theta. Okay, if you differentiate that. And that's what I got there. Now, if I differentiate this one, so this one becomes zero and tan theta, can you remember tan? Tan, let's just find tan theta. Um, so there it is. And tan theta is equal to six squared theta. Okay. And then don't forget the one with the x I turn around. So if I, if I turn it around, I get this. And then... If I take this up, it becomes cos squared theta. And then I basically just multiply. Now, what is sec? Sec is 1 over cos. What is tan? It's sin theta over cos theta. And, this, and it's basically just cancelled. You see all the cos cancel out, the 2, and the answer is sin theta. Okay. So I would advise you, especially on this level, you, you came to this level, you can memorize very good. So memorize this. And memorize this. It's not going to take you a lot of effort and it's really going to help you to work faster in the exams. Otherwise, you have to derive it and that takes long. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number B. X is equal to 1 plus 10 theta and y is equal to cos theta okay so let's start so if i'm going to start with this one i'm going to say dy uh, dx remember to theta because theta is on it's not a t it's theta so this becomes zero and as i showed you and i can show you again in the previous can you remember tan is equal to six square theta and that will be sec squared theta. And then dy over d theta. And then, can you remember cos? And can I show you again, if you cannot recall? Cos, look there, cos, if you do, so it's negative sin theta. So negative sin theta. Usually the cos and sin is easy. Uh, the sin is just cos and the cos is just negative sin. It's just the tan. That's a bit different. Okay, now if I'm, okay, don't forget, the one with x, the one I'm, I turn it around, so it's d over dx. And if this is over 1, then it's 1 over 6 squared theta. Okay, and then I'm going to say d over, uh, you don't have to write it out. You don't really, at this level, I'm not, uh, this video, I'm just going to say, dy, you can see it, if you multiply this one with this one, you will see that the thetas will cancel out. And it's dy over dx, and that's going to be negative sin theta over 6 square theta. Okay, and then if I'm going to simplify this, then this is going to just be um, if I'm taking it up, it will be maybe good. So it's negative sin theta and then cos squared theta. And, and that will be your final answer. 